Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining us again here on the Super Creators Podcast, where we highlight today's creatives in all form of arts, photo, video, you name it. And today, I'm actually excited to introduce our guest. He's actually coming from New Jersey, just like myself. Um, and just a little bit of background about him. He is a New Jersey photographer focusing on personal portraits, commercial photography, and fine art. He has been a photographer since 2015 and has been full-time since the beginning of this year, 2019. So everybody, I introduce you, Evan Criscolo. Hey, what's going on, man? Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, any, any opportunity to get out here and talk about the art is always, always a plus. Yes, definitely. No, no, thank you so much. I'm actually happy that we were able to connect and especially from you, you're from New Jersey. Um, one of the reasons I started actually the podcast was to really highlight the New Jersey community. Nice. And I felt like there's so many talented people, but we just get like either overshadowed by New York or nobody yeah, really sure. tries to reach out to New Jersey as much. I don't know. I feel like everybody's like enclosed. I, so. there's, I mean, I know like a lot of, a lot of the communities I see, at least as far as photographers, everybody's like really, you know, it's like more of a tight community and mm -hmm. like, um, you know, like maybe some, there's like probably a decent number of local photographers that are aware of my work, but I don't know outside of my own personal circles, like friends and family, I don't know if anybody really sees anybody else's stuff. So, you know, like you're yeah. saying, we don't have like a big vibrant scene like New York City and, you know, we're doing, we're doing the best we can, I guess. We're yeah. trying. We need help. <laughs> we need a lot of help here. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I mean, it's yeah, honestly, there's amazing talent. Like I've, I mean, the people that I've connected with are just mind blowing with their work but it's just i guess maybe lacking like that cross promotion actually like events to bring everybody together yes yeah, well it's tough to do anything here i mean you know as you know everything is a fortune so like just even even the idea of hosting an event is you know you got to go through the red tape of you know renting locations and then you're going to spend you know x number of dollars and you know have all this stuff and it's it's tough it's tough to create anything like that and do anything like that i mean there's there is some of it, right? I mean, it's not like none, but definitely yeah. would love to see more action. I mean, I know if you, I don't know if you ever sort of like went around like Asbury Park area like that. They have a pretty nice community over there. People, that's pretty cool. I I know one, well, I don't like know none, but like through Instagram, the one photographer from there, um, don't know his full name, something with Logan. I don't know what you're talking about off the top of my head. But Maybe if I saw his work, I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> but I know, like, I through through his posts, I've seen like more of like that community, and they have like meetups and things like that going on. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit more action over there than a lot of other places. But it's, I mean, at least as far as I know, that's kind of kind of a rarity when it comes to Jersey. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I'm happy to hear. I'm happy to hear if anybody disagrees with me. Basically, <laughs> maybe we'll find out through this podcast. Right, <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Let me find other creative people. I love, I love artists, man. I love hanging out with artists, musicians. Mm -hmm. All that's great. Yeah, man. So, real quick, um, usually the questions I ask everyone is basically how. Well, first of all, so you are a photographer. That's how you label yourself. That's what you work in. Um, we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but. Is that how you started your creative journey? Like, how did you get into it? Did you play instruments first? Did you? No. So, um, I mean, how much, how much of a, how much of a, how much, how far back do we want to go? Go as deep as you want. Okay. Um, so my, my career, I don't have, there was, I never really put the energy into like a lot of other creative endeavors. Like not the way that I do with photography. Like as I, when I grew up and stuff, like I would dabble with things, like I would draw a little bit or, you know, I mean, I bought a guitar for a month one time. I had a harmonica. It was always like, you know, it was always playing. None of it was ever real. I never went deep on any of it. And um, I got to, and I always say, like, I felt lost, like most of my life, right? Like, I'm not, sorry if this is depressing, but no, like, no, I, no, go ahead. I just felt really lost. Like I had no purpose. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just confused. Um, and I felt that way for a long time. As, especially as I grew up and then like what, um, what had happened, what had happened was, uh, as I got into my twenties, I ended up, I ended up with like a bad drug problem. Right. And I still like, after I got to be about, I got clean when I was about 25. So it was like, you know, it was, it was a couple of years of, of 
me making a mess of my life. And I was obviously, I wasn't doing anything creative at the time because I was kind of wrapped up in all that. And um, what happened is like, as I, as I cleaned up and I was like looking around for like, I was just experimenting, right? Like Mm -hmm. I still didn't know, I was 25. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I had dabbled in a thousand different things over the years. And, um, you know, so like, I didn't have like a rich history of any of these artistic things. And, you know, I found, I found photography and the rest, the rest is history. Rest I, mean, is I can go history. more if you want, but it's pretty much, that's pretty much how I got it. That's how it started. I don't have a okay. like. You know. Yeah. yeah no, I, I definitely know that story. Once you pick up a camera and you take that first snap, it's just something. It's something, right? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, I mean, I don't know about you, but like for me, like my, my, my brain is like nonstop, like just constantly like a thousand miles an hour, like anxiety, all that kind of stuff. And when I'm holding the camera, when I'm, when I'm photographing, when I'm working, uh, it's like the only time in my whole life where like everything just shuts up for a minute. And like, I have some peace and quiet in my head. Like that's, I've never had it before. Um, So I know. Yeah, I know exactly that feeling. It's like, you know, right? That little, like, just a viewfinder. It's just everything is just there. Perfect. It's just there. like <sighs> we're in it. Like, that's it. You're in the moment. You're right. It's yeah, it's it's spe- it's a special thing for me, man. So yeah. like, even though I love like I love art and creative and creation stuff. And, like I should say, like I mean, I'm aware of art. Like I, I grew up around the stuff. You know, like my family's pretty. Like they, my father's always been artistic. Like he's a musician. He does all those things, and you know, so like I've been around and exposed to a lot of art in my life. So like I've seen a lot of it, you know, mm-hmm. so it was, uh, but then here for here, all my friends are always music. Like I always hung out with bands and musicians. Like, oh yeah. You know, I mean, what well, the, the, the central and, and South Jersey scene is known for, for all the, the bands that have yeah. come out. There's so much music that comes out of here. I mean, I, I mean like Springsteen's out of here and, and uh, Bon Jovi's out of here and, Oh, there's just so many. I'm not going to label them because I can't yeah, remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't take notes, but there's a few. I think those are like the big guys. Well, I mean, growing, growing up, there was a lot of, I guess, uh, more of the, like the punk rock scene or just yeah, sure. rock in general. Like, uh, who was it? You're talking, you're talking about language Save, right now. Saves the day, taking back Sunday. Dude, that was like, uh, I was like a little, like in high school, I was like angry. Yeah. Little, like, <laughs> my, my stupid mohawk, like running around. It's like, yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm making better choice. I'm, my hair looks much better now. I think I have no more mohawk. Oh no, no, I, I had that the the curly fro. Okay, all right, yeah, all, right. All, right. all right. I respect the fro. No. My brother had a fro. My brother had like the illest, illest oh, fro. Man. Oh my god! When I, see, when I saw the pictures from then, I was just like, all right, let's not. Let's put this away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anyone see this. Oh dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, but that's awesome, man. Actually, it's it's funny. Um, you going back to the original thing you said of how, um, through f- you know through photography, you're kind of like your mind like focuses. Yeah. And it's funny because sometimes like I'll see you know you'll see those videos of, of photographers who are like so immersed in the moment that they forget like where they're stepping. Like, is there an edge? <laughs> is there yeah, 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 yeah. Fall right off the know? roof, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah I get but when that. You, when you think about it, you're just like. Because it's true, you're not like you so are part of that. That it's like, yeah, dude, it's that's such what a, you it's see. Like, it's like such a visceral experience. I'm yeah. definitely, I'm definitely guilty of like walking into people and oh. like just bumping. Like you're like, oh, sorry, I didn't, didn't realize there was everybody around. Or, <laughs> I didn't realize there was more people. <laughs> like, oh god, I'm sorry, oh, there's people here. <laughs> forgot, <laughs> forgot, I'm not just alone. <laughs> no, that's it. but it's 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 definitely amazing how like you we kind of transform right in that moment and it's just yeah. like to the whole nother like engine and machine just working you're thinking about all these other things that absolutely you weren't thinking about but i mean that, that's the amazing part of it that's why i think it's like it really is you know the camera is just a tool sure like sure. Say, the camera is just a tool but it's really just like what what photo or image comes out is really like the embodiment of the creator. And that's yeah, why it's like so amazing because you can have the same setup, same lens, same lighting, whatever. And it's not going to come out the same unless you're that person. You know, it's like, yeah, Oh, I think, you know, it's funny. I have a, one of my good buddies is also into photography. Um, 
is and we go and we'll do like we'll go do landscapes together right like not all the time but you know maybe a couple times a month we'll go nothing big we'll go down like sandy hook something like that catch a sunset you know i, I usually end up there a few times a month and and it's fun because like we'll go, you know we'll go and then like the way we usually do it is we kind of split up a little bit but mm -hmm. we're never you know so we don't end up with exactly the same photo because obviously who wants to take the same angle and the same shot mm -hmm. but like you know, we'll be, we'll be like maybe like 40, 50 feet apart. You know, I'll be working on my composition. He'll be working on his composition and you know, we're shooting the sunset. So we're still facing the same way, basically photographing the same thing. But like, you know, then we'll like, we'll both go home and like, he'll send me the, his photo and I'll send him my photo and we'll, and I'll like, look, and I'll be like, dude, how did you, what? Like that looks nothing like what I did. Nothing. Like the color is different. Like, because, you know, because of whatever, like the treatment, the post-processing or mm -hmm. maybe different filter or different white balance or, you know, any of a hundred things and it'll be so different. And it's, uh, I mean, that's, it's incredible. Like to be like, just, you know, like we're standing at the same, you know, we're not that far apart that it's, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like different sides of the country. It's, we're 40, 50 feet, maybe if that. And, uh, it's so a lot. different view. Yeah, yeah, I know that's happened a few times with, uh, with a close friend of mine. Like, we'll go, and he thought it was more, I would say, like, minimal and up close. So he'll try okay. to, like, and I don't know what my style is. I, it's just whatever comes out. <laughs> but, Dude, like, you know, I it's can't funny. can't find my style either. How hard is that? Why is that so difficult? Like, I don't understand. Why is that? I think it's just because we, I don't know. I feel like we don't want to box ourselves in. Mm. You know what I mean? So like I we just that. want to keep creating. So it's just like when you when you told me to write that bio, I was like, Ugh, what do I say? Uh, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> what do I say? You're right, man. I don't. I photograph. I mean, I like. I'm, maybe I'll do a landscape, or maybe maybe I'm taking pictures of like, you know food for like a restaurant, or like maybe it's a portrait. Maybe now it's a wedding, or or like or I'm at home and I got nothing on the weekend, so I photograph flowers. Like, yep, it could be anything. Anything. Who knows? You just have to keep creating. Go. Just gotta. <laughs> yeah, can't stop now. Now we started. We started the ball rolling, yeah. and that's it. That's it. Actually, that's that's one of the things, and I wanted to highlight that that uh, caught my attention when I first found your page, and it was the the deep use of, I guess, like uh, low key lighting. Okay. Like, really, yeah, like dark blacks and like separation of black and white and like things like that and i remember there's like certain images that are just still in my head of just it'll be like just a flower but it's just like the black is the black and like just yeah, a slither like of light and you know when when i saw those images i was like all right these are like super contrasty but like sharp you know yeah so it was it was a style that obviously you know nowadays a lot of people are into the the neon lighting and the like this yeah, I mean, color type of thing and it's cool but like when i saw that i was like yes somebody who's just like different so you know like <laughs> Dude, you know what like that's the, like when you exist in the like in the instagram photography world it's it's so easy to fall victim because i know what you're talking about that, that whole stock like it's you know the, that's like the what's his name is like really really basically i would say like i guess invented it the guy brandon wolfel it's like mm -hmm. super popular very talented photographer and i'm not knocking the guy uh, especially not because it was his, like, you know, like he, he pioneered it. So like power to you, man, like you created it looks great, but people love, people will rip off the style and you'll see, you know, not rip off, but they'll put their own spin on it. They'll try to do it. Cause I mean, I can't say that I'm totally, you know, I mean, I, I, I see stuff that influences my work, you know what I mean? Like I just, just doesn't happen to be that it's other stuff. So like, you know, when you live in this Instagram space, it's really easy to get lost in, I mean, there's so many things about it, right? You can get lost in the trends and like that's, and it's funny because like if I take a trendy photo, quote unquote, and I go show it to like my friends, they're going to be like, whoa, that's incredible. And like, yeah. like, because they don't know, they're not, they don't follow a thousand photographers like me and you do. So like when I show it to you, you're going to be like, yeah, okay, I've seen it. Like I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> boring, boring. I've seen it a thousand times today. And, um, you know, so I think not that I'm specifically trying to stand out, like I don't go out of my way to be different, but I definitely photograph. I mean, like I take pictures that I want to take. It's just me. Whatever I feel like I want to do is what I do. So sometimes they look awful. <laughs> sometimes they're real bad. But I mean, you said, you know, you touched on things that are important to me. Like I, I like, I like my photos sharp. I shoot every, like not everything, but I shoot a ton of stuff, like right in the mid range or the app. I'm always like F8. Like I want maximum depth of field. 
I want sharp, sharp photos. I like deep saturated black. Like those are all, you know, those are things that I like just for, I mean, like, look at me, I'm sitting here in a black shirt, right? Like, yeah. But I, I, I purposely didn't wear a black shirt today because <laughs> everybody always tells me, yeah, yeah, people are like, they always see me and they'll just be like, wait, you're not wearing a black shirt? And I'm like, I mean, you know, like my work shirt, like I'll have the, you know, the black shirt with the Disrupt logo on it. But it's like, most of my clothes are pretty like black. So I was like, all right, I got to switch it up. A little color. Okay. I, mean, I respect it. I can't say that I understand the choice, but I respect the choice. Yeah. Like, I have like, I have like just like, like four stacks of plain black t-shirts is basically all that I wear. Oh, you can't, you can't go wrong with a black shirt. Right. Right. I do it. Some, some people wake it's, up and they're, it's casual. It's formal. It's business. Oh. It's <laughs> you never look bad in all black, no matter where you are, except on the beach. That's weird. Yeah, that's <laughs> on the beach, like head to toe, blacked out. That's you're like, all right, maybe. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, bro, that no, but that's awesome. Yeah, I trust me, I I've noticed that in in your work, and it's like, you know, and it stands out, and like I love it. So how how did you get into that style? I guess like did you try it out one day, and you just like, you know, I mean, how did I? What did I do? I just um. I mean, if you look at some of, well, I guess because of, of, I started shooting with strobes and like, I realized pretty early on that that was something that I wanted to do. Um, like I'm not, I do some natural light stuff, but like by and large, I really, I'm not, and I, I don't, I would never call myself like a natural light photographer. Um, you know, I definitely lean towards the strobes, uh, for sure. Um, but like funny, funny enough. So like my father was kind of like amateur and like an amateur photographer, like in his life, um, because my grandfather who I, I didn't really meet cause he died. Uh, he died when I was like a, like a year old. That's so right. but he was, he was a photographer. He was like a full-time photographer and like, you know, working professional, like had a business, like, you know, did wedding stuff. So when I started, my father pulled out like some of his, you know, my father's own like lighting equipment that he had got like in like the mm-hmm. You know, which is like, you know, some cool stuff then. So like I was afforded this opportunity to like play with strobes like right away. And so I just did. I just did. And I started playing with them and I started like, you know, I started working in my parents' living room at the time. It's a couple of years ago now. Um, I don't have a studio right now, but I did. I did for a couple of years in the middle there. Um, but I started working in this little living room and like to some degree, the the early style was like influenced by my limitations, right? Like. And and you can still see it in my work today, right? Like I don't ever photograph anyone like full body. It's always like knee up, waist up because, (laughs) dude, because I used to not be able to get far enough back in the room. (laughs) I could never do it. So all my photos were just tight because I was just, ah, it's what I had. I had a way to work. And the same thing, like I never had enough room. Like, I don't know if you ever use like white seamless or anything like that, but Mm when you photograph on white, you have to light it and you need to separate the people. You know, you need room to photograph mm-hmm. on white. It's not easy. To, I mean, it's easy. Or it's not, well, I shouldn't say it's easy. It's not like difficult, but like you need room to do it right. Yeah. You need to um, do it right. Exactly. You know, like, and not have yourself like a, a mess. So like I didn't have it. I didn't have the room. So like I didn't use white a lot and it was really easy to use black. Like, cause I would hang a black and I liked the look of it. I liked the, the style. I mean, I love, I black. love black. Yeah. Okay? So I'm a fan. So like it was okay, like it worked out, and like I guess a lot of those early, all those early technical limitations have like they just hold true, and like are still part of what I like to do. You know, I like, I like studio portraits. I like the isolation and the separation. You know what I mean? Like I don't. Yeah. Environmental portraits are cool. Don't get me wrong. I like I like them too, but there's something interest like very interesting to me of like isolating a subject and having them like in this total vacuum of like all black. And it's like just them. And you're like, you know, that's it. You really have to narrow in and, and see what's yeah. interesting about this, your subject and what you're dealing with, you know? Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, like pers- even personally, I, I love studio photography. I just think that because of the limitation of getting into it, or I guess like the difficulty of getting into it, like you actually have to buy it or it's rent out. It's a big buy-in to do that. So but... It's not just like a camera in a park, you know, you got to go yeah. buy crazy. It's a lot of money. It is. But I think that's like, that's why a lot of people like shy away from it. But whenever I get a chance to, to be in a studio setting or to light my subject, I would say correctly, like the way I want to, you know, shape them nice. with light. It's, it's a whole different thing. Even like, 
I don't know if other people believe this, but I believe even the camera's like focus system and sharpness is like highly influenced by the lighting. Sure, like, for sure. I, there are some times where like I'll take a photo and I'm just like, why does that look like that? And then another time I'll light it in a certain way and it'll be so sharp and crisp. And I'm just like, how can this one camera produce these two like different yeah, well, I mean, images? I know. You know? Like when you look at, like a lot of people do like outdoor portrait, right? Like when people go outdoor, like the first move everybody makes is to like open up the aperture and like shoot wide open, right? To throw the background out of focus. It's mm -hmm. always the first move. Super common and like, it's fine. But like the thing about the thing about that, and some people know and some people don't, is like the lens is less sharp, wide open. Like it's not as it's literally like just optics, like the science, the physics and science of optics. Like your lens is not sharpest, wide open. So like you stop it down to like around f eight, you know, like f f like f six three, f seven one, f eight, yeah. f ten, like nine, like you know, in that range, in that middle, you you lose a lot of light, and like you know, you can't necessarily always. If it's not bright outside, you can't shoot like that. And, and maybe you don't want to anyway because that background is right in focus. You know, so I achieve my separation, obviously, the other way, you know, with the black, plain black. Or, you know, nowadays, sometimes I do stuff with white. Um, but, like, that sharpness that you're talking about and that focus. And, like, then, you know, you have that. It's just, like, from a technical standpoint, I prefer to be operating around that mid-range um, because it, I can't tell you how many times I'll shoot somebody at, like, 2.8. And like, and I look like one eye is in focus and then the other eye is not in focus. Oh man. And I'm just like, I, I, I you can't, there's nothing to do about it. Like it's unavoidable, but I hate it. I'm like, ugh. I'm like, this, this photo's ruined. It's done. Ruined. Throw, Throw it, it away. <laughs> Garbage. Never, never. I got 10,000 photos at two eight on my hard drive that no one will ever see because the, the sharpness isn't like, I'm a lunatic. I need yeah. it to be like, it's a problem. Yeah. It's <laughs> Might be a problem. I know exactly what you're talking about, but yeah, I'm I know like, it's and it's stuff like that. And it's funny because like a lot of times, I mean, one one of the things that I'm also trying to, I don't know, I guess I don't want to say like advocate for, but I kind of want to like get out there in the community is about the specs of what you're like the technical side of thing people think like you know the more expensive cameras, the this lens and that, and if you have a one point four, like you're garbage, and it's like. Like honestly, I'm I'm still using a low end, a low end camera, beginner DSLR, however they call it. With I have my like my one go to lens because I do a lot of like events. And what's like, your go to? What's what's the, what's the what is it's, it? It's um, Tamron. It's it's a seventeen to fifty five two point eight. Okay. Um, but it's a crop sensor, so you know, yeah, it's like yeah. a twenty seven to eighty whatever range. Anyway, it's good enough. It's I love it because <laughs> it's it's, it's man, like the cam. All the cameras that have been made in like the last five years are awesome. They're all awesome. You know what yeah. I mean? Like we're we're being really un. We're being really extra about all. I mean, like I get it. There's a reason sometimes you might need the. You know, I mean, I got all this pro gear, right? Like obviously, quality is important to me, and I'm and I'm trying to make money off this stuff. All like I don't. Have, you know what I mean? Like that's my income. Of course. So like I want it to be good. But uh, I tell you what, man, I got, the guy who taught me how to shoot weddings um, is one of the best pieces of advice I ever got about gear. And he told me that pro quality gear, professional quality gear will never make your photos better, but it will make your job easier. Yep. And I was like, oh, all right, I get that. I get that. And that makes, you know, I got stuff that, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if you ever shot an event with anything cheap, but like I'll shoot I, I, <laughs> the first oh, shoot. Yeah. I did with like I did with like some Amazon like eight dollar light stand and like halfway through the day like it just cr like crumbled in my hand and I was and that was it like I threw it away and I had I couldn't do it at the, you know at the time I was like oh oh no I gotta oh, figure oh, it out no. yep and like and I was like dude, like after that it was you know no more I can't do that again so I bought you know I bought more expensive stands and I you know because I can't afford to have stuff break in the middle of a job yeah if it falls over one time and it's like that's crazy to me I need the stuff to be durable I need it to I need the batteries to last you know and I need it to work I need it to be weather sealed you know I, I can't I can't be like you know I can't deal with that yeah no no and, and that's and that's the you hit all of the good points because that's the reason why gear is important sure because of that to make it easy to make it efficient to work together yeah. with your workflow 
Absolutely. You know, but, yeah, but like you're not making your photos. It's not the photos are yeah. better. My life is easier. The photos are the exactly. same. <laughs> photos yeah, but are like, less to think about. Yeah, no, no. And, and that's why I like you know, and I get that because a lot of people are just like, Oh, but I need this and that. I'm like, bro, just if you pick up a camera, learn the basics, get out there, you're gonna make amazing work and then from there then you figure out which camera works for you and your workflow and like yeah you find what meets your need they're all tools like you said dude they're just tools that's if you can't if you can't tell me a real good reason why you need some new expensive gear you don't need the new expensive mm -hmm. gear if like you know it's not like you said earlier it's about the creator it's about knowing and talk about like things that bother me like is the so like i i have I have invested a lot of time into learning about my, my camera technique, all right, my technical stuff, exposure and aperture and all this fancy nonsense and when is diffraction going to start happening and why is, oh, you know, what's my, all that. Like, I go, I go nuts. And like, I, I, you know, I still now, I consume a ton of video content, I'll watch courses, I want to learn and I've, and I've taken a lot of photos and I, you know, because I do, I do like multiple sessions a week, like regardless, like I'm, I'm for years now, so. I, I'm always working and I'm always practicing my technique so that I don't have to think about it. Like when, when, you know, when it comes like down to the line and like, it's time to get a photo and like, I don't have, you know, say like it's a party or a wedding. You have to, you have to. And like so many times and it bothers me a lot. Um, it's a little pet peeve. You'll catch like a newer mm -hmm. photographer and people will be like, yeah, don't worry about the settings, man. Just go out and make photos. Just go do it. And it's like, uh, I don't understand that because like, only photography does that happen because like if I gave somebody a guitar and I was like, don't worry about the scales, dude, notes, you don't need notes. Just don't go tune play. It. Don't even tune it. <laughs> no, go. go ahead, man. Just make, just go create stuff. Go ahead. Oh man, you gotta learn how to use it. We gotta, it's just part of the game. It's, yep. Learn how to use the tool. I mean, like if you're a carpenter, you learn how to use your hammer. If you're a photographer, yeah. learn how to use your camera. Like, I mean, I'm sure carpenters use other tools. I don't know. I hope I didn't. Yeah. So. <laughs> It'll be fine. So all the carpenters <laughs> out there, we still love you. <laughs> but yeah, no, no. And, it, and it's, it's so true because it's, there's times where, like, I'll see myself in a situation and I'll know, like, my brain will just, I just know exactly what I need to do. Yeah, well, you practice. You. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, okay, lights coming from here. I'm doing this, that. Okay. The time it's, in, like, it's automatic. And it'll happen. And yeah. then when I try to, explain it to somebody else i'm just like whoa, whoa wait hold on um so sorry. yeah exactly i'm just like where do i even start like <laughs> dude I, well that's a problem that I, you when someone like someone will ask me like like i gotta warn people right they'll be like can you explain this and i'm like all right how much how much do you want me to explain because i can get i can talk for the next hour and a half if you really want me to <laughs> or i could just tell you where to point the camera it's your call yeah, exactly it's up to you. No, but it's well, but that's that's and that's the amazing thing. That's where, you know, like you said, our we we photography is a trade, right? It's a trade like carpentry, sure. trade like plumbing, everything Absolutely. else. And one of the greatest things that I've ever heard is like people with trades like that, they don't like the plumber, right? He doesn't get paid because he fixed the pipe. He gets paid because he knows well, how to fix it. He knows what's yeah. wrong with it. You know, that's it. So it doesn't have to take him three days. You could do it in one minute. He's still getting exactly. He's still getting paid because he fixed it. And it's the same thing with us. It's like we studied everything and know like all the technical stuff because when that split second comes that we need it, it's just, we're just going to make it happen. Yeah. Well, that's the whole idea. That's the whole, that's what trying to be a pro, right? Like not like trying to literally trying to be a professional. So I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do this as a job. So that means I can't mm -hmm. afford I, what's going to happen? Like a client's going to ask me for something and then, can you do this simple? And like, I'm like, no, I can't. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out in front of them, and like then like you know then ask them to pay my full rate and look like a clown, yeah. and like be like oh, I'm not sure how this camera works. Oh, God. <laughs> it's no good. Sometimes I say that just to mess with people. Or yeah. they'll be like they're like really real nervous, and I'll be like, ah, oh, this is my first day. I don't even I don't even know where I got. I stole this camera. It's somebody else's stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, they know they know I'm mess. I just mess around. I can't I can't stop joking around all the time. That's hilarious. No, but that's good. That's I think that that loosens people up and makes them easier to work well, with. That's, dude, that's I mean, at least as far as portraits go, that's like to me, that's more important than uh, I mean, the light's gonna do what the light's gonna do, right? I mean, go stick it over there and put somebody in the light. You're if 
and I see it a lot because like, you know, and I guess it's part of the practice process, right? Like you have to practice your light. So like we're talking about now, right? So you get it to the point where you don't need to think about it. You can just go, okay, go stand over there, turn this way. The, all right, good. The light's good. And then, you know, I mean like for landscape, obviously it's all about light, right? Like landscape and product and stuff like that. It's all about the lighting because that's all there is. But like when it comes to a portrait, it's different. Like the light is, the light is vital, obviously, because it's photography. So it's light. But yeah. if you can't, like I've seen a lot of amateur photography that is like well lit because somebody learned how to light, you know, they, they learned it, they're practicing. Mm -hmm. And the, you know, the difference is, but like the person is just like, you know, their subject is just sitting there with a bored expression and they're like super well lit. Like the exposure is perfect. You know, all the eyes are sharp and focused. Mm -hmm. The background is everything. It's beautiful. It's flawlessly executed, but it's a boring photo and I don't care about it because there's no personal connection. So like if you're yeah. doing it, at least for me anyway, like I'm doing a portrait, um, I want to get my light right, but I want to get my light right quickly and move on and worry about the person. So like I spend a lot of my time, like I need to, Annie Leibovitz has a great quote and I think she's, it's, and I'll probably mess this up, but she basically says, I, I fall in love with everybody that I photograph. And mm -hmm. I think that's, I think that's excellent because when I sit down with a subject and that's why I like, I love when I get a chance to work one-on-one -on -one with somebody it's happened to me. Like if you, if you come and hire me as a photographer and you work one-on-one -on -one with me, chances are nine out of 10, you're going to leave. And now we're friends and we're going to be friends, right? Because I need to facilitate that personal connection in order to get a picture that's going to look like you, you know what I mean? That's going to show who the person is and, and what their personality is and, they can't just be well lit sitting there. I need to do better than that. Yeah. For me, anyway. I mean, like, I guess no, no, and, and that's that's a, a perfect point because it's it's the human connection that makes it happen. Yeah. It, 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 honestly, it doesn't matter about setting, background, like where you're at. But like, if you have that, if you can bring that person to life, yeah, right, like to the photo. That's, I mean, one of one of my favorite sessions that I've had, and you know, you reminded me of it is. It was this one uh, lady, she was a realtor up in like the whole Hoboken area, whatever. And, you know, when we first started, she was kind of like, like everybody, right? A little bit timid, a little bit like reserved. And I was just like, look, I was like, you need to act like you and just be you. And I'm just, I'm like, not even like, don't even worry about me. Like, we're just, yeah. we just started talking about like random things and her favorite movies and all this. By the end of like, and you know, this is a real store, so this lady's like, you know, polished. She like, yeah, all like and, her fancy suit on. I guess. Yeah. At by the end of the shoot, so I don't know if you uh, you probably know the Hoboken area, like by the. Kinda, I mean, I've been I've been up around there. I don't know it super. So long. there's there's one area that has um like a fountain, like a mm -hmm. you know like a like a little spring fountain, and like kids can run like through it. By the end of the session, she was just like, I want to get one last photo. And I was like, what well, photo? She literally ran through there and started doing like like just a photo shoot with like, you know, this rain, it was like, super, yeah, it was like super dramatic. And like, but I was just like, bro, this lady's like, like, I, you know, I told her, don't do it. Like I was scared for, her. I was just like, I was like, right. I was like, are you really are you get all wet? Like, you're just going to run through this. And she's like, don't worry, I'm fine. And yeah, man, but like you did, you, that's the thing. You did the thing. You opened her up, you got her comfortable. You let her be her. You made, you made it possible for her to, you know, to express who she is. And then you, you know, then we do our part, right? Then you take the, the hard part of getting them to come out of the shell. And then you take the damn photo. <laughs> take the, click the button. Now. You did the hard stuff. Click the button. That's yeah, beautiful. You know, I remember like, th those are still like some of my, like digitally my favorite photos because I remember the whole day. You know what I mean? I yeah. remember the whole day. And then how I got to that moment, I'm just like, I, I can't make this up. Like, <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. Just, you know, <laughs> realtor running in her suit through the fountain. It was great. Yeah, no, no. She literally, like, she was just ready. And she's like, it's all right. I'm going to go to my office after this. I'm done for the day. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> you say whatever you say. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. But, was, but really, like, I tried to talk her out of it. And, like, and her, <laughs> her, like, uh, not like assistant, but I guess, like, her other, like, client, client, because we're, like, working yeah. together also was like you know i had to consult with her i'm like is she okay like is she really gonna do this like are we gonna let her do this <laughs> but you know but that's what she wanted and like and that was honestly like, one, of the, one of the best whatever 
whatever weird thing people want to do in front of the camera, I'm like, hey, yeah, no, do it. Go for it. Can I pour paint on you? Let's. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious yeah no no but that's it i think that's like the the important part really is like yeah, getting people to open up because you're that's you know like you said when nine out of ten times you're gonna end up being friends and if you're not friends it's because they're a bad client <laughs> they don't want to pay you or something, you know like, like, so something happened <laughs> you can't go on record saying that oh god <laughs> if we're not friends it's your fault you're yeah. bad <laughs> You know, but like something around. Yeah, yeah. Oh, listen, dude, so I, I've had sessions with people, and some dude. Sometimes I can't make the con. I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm not yeah. perfect. Sometimes you can't make the connection. You know, and then and then what are they? Well, I know what I'm doing, so they're gonna get. You know, they'll get well. The photos are well lit. The camera's in focus. They're sharp. You know, everything's clean. I touch up whatever I need to touch up. They're fine. Photos aren't bad, but yeah. they're also not. You know, good. You know exactly. <laughs> They're not good. I mean, they're just okay. And then you know, and that's like, you know, I don't, I don't want it to go that way. I would much rather have the connection. And usually, I usually I manage to pull it off at least a little bit, somewhere in there. Somewhere, yeah. yeah. <laughs> at least for one of the photos, right? Just give me one, man. Just one, really. We got one good one. That's fine. I'm okay with. I'm okay with just one. You know what? You know what else? Actually, since you mentioned that, I, I kind of wanted to bring this up. One of the things that I forget a lot of times, but I try to remember is that the person is more worried about how they look in the picture than how the picture looks. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, you said that so well. Oh, yeah, dude. You show, you're like, this photo is awesome. Take a look at this. And they're like, yeah, but look at the way my arm is bent. You're yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> look at the arm. Look how great this looks. What do you mean? The volcano behind you. There's a unicorn running through the scene. <laughs> This is the best photo I've ever taken in my life. Oh, man. You're worried about your arm? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. No, no, I, and I've had that so many times. Like, you know, and, and you'll send them, like, the photo set, and they'll choose the one that you thought was, like, the least, and they're like, oh, oh I'm yeah. perfect in this, and I'm just like... Yeah, I don't pick anymore. I won't, I don't pick. Yeah, yeah. no, no. I, I don't, I'm not, I get it wrong. I'll get it wrong. I sent, you know what I did? I did it not too long ago. I did a session for this woman, and... It was like a long, it was a long session. We covered a lot of material, right? It was like, I, so I had like maybe like 400 shots, right? And we, because we were in the studio for like three hours. We had like three looks. I just a ton of stuff, right? Maybe more than three looks. Maybe like three, three outfits, but like a bunch of, you know, we yeah. just did backdrops. I just, I wanted to produce a lot so she could pick, right? And the, the, I, I narrowed it down. I took like my favorite, like 50 photos and like I put them in a separate fold, like, you know, for me, right. Mm -hmm. I put like my favorite 50 and I was like, I was like, okay, these are my favorite. I was like, and I sent her everything and I was like, why don't you pick, you know, pick what you like, right. I forget what, you know, however, however I worked out the pricing, I think she was going to pick like the, like 10 or something like that. Right. Like that was what she was, you know, that was like the package she was mm -hmm. buying. And, um, the 10 she picked, I was like, no, none of them, not a single one came out of my set. I was like, I was like, no, but these fifty are the good ones. Why don't like what what what, what is going on? <laughs> Why did you not pick the good ones? I don't understand. So I don't pick. I don't. I don't pick because I get it wrong. Oh man! No, no, yeah, it's hilarious. Actually, it's so I'm gonna plug in the service real quick just because okay. you mentioned it. Um, I started using Shootproof. I don't okay. know if you heard that right because you're able to send them all the photos and then they're able just to kind of like select it I used to see that. just like so like, things like that and it's like i started using that because of that i'm just like i'm i'm done i because then you'll be there editing all your favorites and they're right you edit your favorites and they don't even want to look at them and you're like what about all this work i did yeah Why i'm just like done nah, send it they, they don't care they don't care if it's crooked they don't care if there's like a Right. How could you not you care? Know, that you the the post way. office uh, car in the back. Like they, they just. They're on. They're look, like you said, dude. They care how they look in the photo, and it's yeah. like. I mean, you're right. That's a that's a great way of saying it. You're dead on. Dead on. I was just like done. I'm like all right, yeah, man. You just pick, tell me you which guy, one. You, <laughs> you pick. pick first, then I'll edit. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing. I'm not editing first anymore. No. Not like I, that. I, I learned. I learned the hard way. I think we all learned the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, right. Because you're like you're like, super excited. And you're like these are great, man. And you edit them, and they're like, can you can you do these instead? Yeah. Like, <laughs> and then you feel bad because then you want to post them, but then they don't like it. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pose, can you take it down? And there was, I, I mentioned a real quick story just because. So there was a, there was a uh, a photo meetup in with the pursuit of portraits, and it was okay. January first. It was like a year or two years ago. Anyway, but it was January first. It was literally the coldest day of the year. It was the coldest. So we're in New York, okay. and we were. Everybody was freezing. But but you can still imagine there was hundred photographers, hundred models. Everybody was sure. doing their thing. Yeah, that's and, a big group. That group. Yeah, and by halfway through, I mean, like people were cold. I mean, like it was literally like freezing. And yeah, like zero degrees this, in New York City. And there was one girl that was actually like, she was getting like weak and getting like blue in the face or whatever. She's but dying. That, one girl is literally dying. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they really like they. We had to like. Yeah, call it. Like, picked her up and just like ran and like inside. Bring this girl somewhere warm, for God's sake. She's not going to make it. Put her inside. Yeah, no, no. She was a you know, skinny little girl, yeah. but she's awesome. She's okay. Listen, you know? I got a lot of extra meat. I could be out. You can leave me outside for a couple hours. It's going to be all right. It's going to so, be okay. So we took, but we took this one set and it was like perfect because it was kind of like in the middle of a playground. And it had like that brick. You know, like okay. brick flooring, and yeah, yeah. It, it had the sun peeking through the buildings, and it had like a tree, and it, it was just like a beautiful like landscape. Yeah, yeah, everything was like great, except she was blue in the face. Oh. So when you go to edit, she's kind of like has like a mustache, kind of like a full like blue. This poor girl yeah. with a blue beard, like a so, blue frozen beard. <laughs> exactly. So you know, I edited it as best I could. You know, brought the colors together. She looked to my, you know, good enough. All right, you and got it there. Every every time I try to post it, she's just like, "Oh my god, my friend has a beard," and this and, and I was just like, "I quit." I was just like, right, I'm it. deleting it." And it's just like, it's in my folder where I just like look at it. You just like look at it something, like, you like caress it. You're like, "Why? Why can't I put you on lot? Why can't I show anybody?" I get it. Yeah, no, but I remember, and you know, and that always brings me back to I'm just like, just because that one yeah, person, dude, I mean, you know, the whole picture is like ruined. God but, can't be seen. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that, man. Stuff like that happens sometimes. You have like some photo. You, I did a whole session, I did a whole session with a guy uh, a while back, and we get to the end of the session, and I do, you know, I change up the lighting, like I, I switch it up like a lot, like I switched, you know, I flipped it on its head, and then I did like, you know, like the, whatever, whatever I did, like another twenty photos, and so I send him the photos, and like the last twenty are like all the ones that I want to use and that I want to put on my website and share on Instagram and blah blah blah. And I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, I love them all. You can use whatever you want. Just please don't post those last 20. And I was like, come on. Uh, so, I mean, what do you do? I mean, it, it, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I just, what do you do, right? You're not going to be, you're not going to be an a-hole. Like, obviously. Yeah, guys, I'm not just going to post it. Be like, I don't care what you say. <laughs> I'm fucking using it. I love it. Yep. I, I got him. I got him on my, it's funny that you brought it up because I was going through old stuff. I need to find, uh, I need to find some, some image. So I was like, dig it from my archive like three days ago. And like yeah. I came across the set, and I was like, "Oh, these were great. I really like these." But I could never show them to anybody ever at all. I mean, that's, that's like, how it goes, right? What are you gonna do? That's <laughs> true, but that's that's like I, that's a funny part of everything. <laughs> Is it because yeah? Because what we see, we're, we're seeing like the whole everything. We're we're seeing from corner to corner. Yeah. They're, well, yeah. they're they're worrying about their. Hair flying they're, in the face. They care about them. So they're, well, you know, like a model is, you know, I'm a photographer, so I care about the photograph. The model is the model, so she cares about the modeling. I'm like, I don't know if you ever worked with, um, I've done like, have you ever worked with like dancers or anything like that? Like they can be, they can be like very particular about their yeah. So like I did stuff, I did stuff with um, like a parkour group, like, you know, free running. Oh, wow. like, yeah. And, stuff. Um, and like, like these That's guys tough. are insane. Is yeah. the, well, I mean, I, at the time, I had the camera I had was really was um, I had a Nikon D four S, so it's like a sports Ooh, camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. It, it, it focused on everything. It shot like eleven frames a second. <coughs> yeah, was, you could just let that thing fire. Yeah, I've, <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> yeah. <so> it's, <laughs> no problem. No problem with that. That was no problem. So, but the thing is, I would like be going through the photos with him. And then, and like, you show the guy the photo, right? And you're like, check this out. He's, like, doing, like, this crazy backflip, like, over something. And, like, you know, you got this low, wide angle. Mm -hmm. And you're like, this is an awesome photo. And he's like, nah, man, my leg is, my leg's too far over. My form is off. Can't use it. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? You kidding me right now? What? And it was like, <laughs> because, and, like, <laughs> dude, I mean, and, like, I get it. Because that's his business, right? He's trying yeah. to be, he does that professionally. So he can't have stuff online. Show, just like just like if I give someone a bad photo 
right? Like, and they use it. I look bad. So, like, that's you know, true. I, that's why I delete the bad ones first. You don't get the bad ones. You don't even get to pick the bad ones. You don't even get to see them. Yeah. No, those don't make it. Those don't make it out. Any anything that I send for a proof is at least good enough to be. In my I, yeah, at least it, yeah. it's at least possible. Good it's not out of focus. I mean, the lights, you know, the lights are fine. Everything's normal. Oh, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> So real quick, I, I didn't, I didn't want to lose this question and I wanted to bring it up. So recently you posted a very powerful image. Okay. Um, touching on the point of abortion, right? Of yes. pro life and stuff like that. So what, I guess, process did you go through to produce that image? Like what was the initial? I don't know. How did we do it? Yeah, like, did you have, I mean, obviously, like, there was a message you wanted to send. So then how did you translate that into an image? So there is, I, I basically, and it's the way I do anything like this, right? I had to, I mean, you got to think about your intent. So, like, I know, I know the exact image you're talking about. And uh, I'm calling, I'm calling it the sanctity of choice. Because I like, I like fancy titles like that. There you go. Um, Love it. But like, I'm, I can't help myself. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about, and I don't, I don't usually have a political statement to make. I, I rarely, I rarely get my politics involved. I don't, I don't think it's good business practice to be talking about your politics online mm -hmm. and, and publicly. And it's just typically what I believe. Right. Um, but I don't know, like to me, like women's issues are different. Like for whatever reason, I like, I always like resonate with like women and like, and the, and the issues that they have. And like, I've done a few projects yeah. over the years, um, trying to focus on women's issues. Like I did a whole postpartum thing and like, you know, I don't really like, I don't, I don't like impossible beauty standards and all that stuff, right? Like I, I really awesome. don't like that stuff. It really bothers me. Um, I don't like the lack of equality. I don't like the way a lot of women are treated by men. I don't like the way a lot of men I've seen in my life uh, treat women, all right? I don't like the disrespect. I don't like the objectification. I don't like that stuff. Um, yeah. So I was comfortable to make a statement, even though I knew it was going to be polarizing. And like the first thing, the first thing I had to do was sort of ask myself, uh, like, I mean, I was talking, like, it's a collaboration, right? Like, I talked to the model about it. Like, you know, we worked together to come up with it, even though I would say that, you know, I mean, it's like mostly my idea was, how, was what to do and how to do it. But um, I had to decide if I want, like, what, what emotion I wanted to convey first. And I was like, my decision, I wanted it to be shocking. I wanted it to be jarring. I wanted it yeah. to be, I wanted it to be brutal because it's a, it's a serious topic. And I didn't want, I didn't want the photo to be pretty. And not only did I want it not to be pretty, I wanted it, I wanted it to like hurt to look at, you know what I mean? It's the photos gruesome. Um, and for someone like me, like I'm, I make stuff that's tough to look at like fairly often, right? Like mm -hmm. it's I'll, I'll, not all the time, you know, but like I'll do, I'll do stuff that like shows, you know, trying to portray like emotional pain, oh, you know, course, yeah. I've seen you know, so like, so it's not pretty. It's not, like I don't have a lot of pretty photography. Um, you know, I like that kind of emotive stuff like pain and anguish and sorrow and depression and et cetera, et cetera. Cause like a lot of that stuff is just how I feel. So I try to get it out. Um, so like the first part of the process was basically coming to the decision that I wanted to make something. I wanted to make something that people were going to have to stop and be like, Oh my God, what is this? Yeah. And so I did, you know, that's what I did. Um, and I just, I, just sort of, I was, just, I don't know, I just really, I guess I thought about, I thought about what that might be like, and I tried to put myself in their place, and I tried to think about, you know, like, how these things could go badly, and just, I don't know, man, I just put it into my, my head, and I let it swirl around for a couple of days, and out comes an idea, yeah, and I comes. tell the model, here's what I'm thinking, here's what I want to do, how do you feel about it, and, you know, the thing about, the, the fun thing about that whole series is, I, I mean, there's like 200 photos. I took like 200 frames and like, they're all different. You know, like she moved around, we did sitting, we did standing, we got blood, we got no blood. You know, I covered a lot of material and then basically I came, I found like the, the photo, which is one photo that conveys what I wanted to convey in the set that I felt, you know, that it resonated with, with me. And um, I knew... I knew that it didn't have to tell the full story itself because I also, I knew that I was going to write something about it. So like I wrote like a, you know, I wrote like a short little, uh, I don't know, like a short little essay, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. And I, you know, I put it together with it and I, and I put it out there like that. And, um, you know, cause it's, it's almost like the, the photo, the photo just basically was supposed to like stop you in your tracks and let you know what we're talking about. Like, 
boom, here's the photo. Oh, we're talking about abortion right now because this is obviously about that. Um, but then you needed to go. It wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be complete in a sense, you know, because I wanted people to go and then read what I had to say because you know I, I wanted it's my platform. I want to put my opinion out there, so that's what I did. And um, it was good. I mean, overall, I got a fairly good. I got a fairly good reaction. I mean, some people were not so nice about it, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. No, no, yeah, no, and it was, it was definitely whatever the the point and message and imagery that we're trying to put across, definitely did that because even when I saw it, I stopped, and like I wouldn't, I would almost say immediately I knew it was your post because so I was like nobody else is gonna do this. I was like nobody, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> not touching this, you know. Yeah, yeah, I had to. I couldn't help but, it. But yeah, no, but and when I saw it, I was just like, but it's. It's honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of like what, you know, I sent you a message at that moment. It's like, it's what art was made for. It was really to like speak the things that you can't really like say, yeah. you know, like the image, like in, in your mind, you're thinking so much, so much more, but you can't like words are not enough for it. For so sure. It was just like, it hits you. It, it hits you. Yeah. No, no, even when I saw it, and it's true, like yeah, you said, it's, it is gruesome, it's like, it's difficult to look at, but then I was just mm -hmm. like, but if it's difficult to look at, then why are people making it such an easy decision? You know Good what question. I mean? Like, Good question. Like, yeah, people, that's, I mean, I think that's, that's part of it, right? Like, there's a lot of people out there not, not giving the issue the gravity that it deserves, and just you know, making a, making a call about it and saying whatever they're, you know, putting their opinion out. And then they're like, that's it, done deal. But it's like, are you really I mean, thinking about it? Yeah, yeah. Talking about it. Are you really thinking about it? Are you really putting in the time? I mean, have you, if you're a man, have you talked to women about it? Like, you know what I mean? Like. For sure. No, no, and I know exactly how you feel about that because I'm, I mean, even in, I work with tons of amazing, amazing female entrepreneurs and they're all about women empowerment. So like, yeah, you know, I hear it all the time and I'm always around them and I'm like, I'm here for you guys because like it's 2019. I mean, we can't like, <laughs> there's so many like issues. And things. What are we doing? <laughs> exactly. can, we, can we treat people right? Like, it's, like you said, it's 2019. Can we just like not be like D-bags? Like, can, can, we figure, can we figure this out already? Like, <laughs> like, there's, like there's a lot of big, like there's like so many problems that we need to tackle. I can't believe we're talking about this. You know what I mean? Like, we, sure. with, like there should be a done deal. Like, didn't we do this? Is this a done deal already? How is this coming up again? What? I thought this was resolved. Yeah. Like, didn't we figure this out in the 80s? Like, or 90s at least? At least. Yeah. I mean, what, what, what is it? I mean, like Roe v. Wade is like 1973. Like, what, what are we doing? This is 50 years ago. Why, am, why is this not? What? It's crazy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, no, no, but definitely, like, shout out to you for, like, I guess having, you know, the, the I guess, the strength to, to actually put it out there, even though knowing, like, what people would say. And, you yeah. know, but I think that that's what it is. It's true, like, what you said. Of course, you don't want to mix in, like, politics and stuff like that but it's like in a sense i didn't even see that message as like oh that's his personal opinion and if i'm against it or for it mm. i was just like this image is for that this yeah, but i mean so, you're, you know you're what i mean smart guy i think you're i don't know that, i don't know that everybody deserves the credit dude my God. Like quite a few people saw that and they did not have that reaction yeah no, but, it, you know, and it's true. It's like, okay, like, like if I were to get offended, I would get offended with the image, with the image itself. And it's like, all right, yeah, you did it, but it's like, that I mean, I would, you're, you're an artist <laughs> yourself. I mean, you know, you know, sometimes that you can create something that maybe, you know, I can create something that doesn't have to be a reflection of my opinion. You know, I can, right? Like that's, I mean, that's what you do with commercial work entirely. You know what I mean? Like you go grab someone else's brand and it's their message and it's their concept and you make something for them. So, you know, sometimes, sometimes as an artist, the important thing to do is get your, get yourself out of the way. And, you yeah. know, like you, you obviously know that, you know, being a photographer yourself and like being in the field. So, you know, for you, you can, you can divorce the image from the creator. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, not everybody, definitely not everybody can. Not everybody can do that. <laughs> one of the, some of the messages I got really indicate that not everybody can. Yeah. So. And actually one, one of, um, I guess one of the creative people that I follow closely, um, Chris Doe from the future. He, um, he's more into like 
graphic design, you know, typography, lettering, stuff like real okay. that, that stuff. But he always mentions that like that one of the most important things that he's learned is really like once he puts his work out there, mm-hmm. it has nothing to do with him anymore. Mm-hmm. So like exactly. when people like critique it or say something about it, they're just talking about that. They're not talking about him because a lot of times, you know, artists will feel like, you know, hurt because somebody oh, yeah. are, ego uh, gets in there. like, yeah, yeah, exactly. But he's like, that once you put it out there, you have to understand that it's done. It has nothing to do with you anymore. Like, that's it. I like that like, a lot. That's it. You, yeah. don't, you don't own it. It belongs to the world now. Yeah, that's it. It's just, it's out there. And if they talk about it, they're just talking about that one piece and it has nothing to do with you. They don't think you're ugly or stupid or whatever. They just. <laughs> I hope they don't think I'm ugly. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, what are we going to do? But yeah, no, no. And, you know, and that helped me a lot because a lot of times, obviously, like, you know, you'll work hours and hours on on any type of work and then yeah. end result somebody's like oh i don't like this and you're just like shut up <laughs> I, went, you know I, I went three days without sleep <laughs> the, if, you know what actually i tell you what like if you if you look at something i created and you hate it like that's fine it's really it's okay i mean i'm gonna be upset because whatever but like you're gonna i'd win. rather i'd rather you hate i'd rather you hate it and like want to kill me than look at it and be like meh boring yeah and, like that's that's to me like that's the worst if you don't even care like if you look at it and you're like eh, all right whatever what's on what's on tv it's like oh not, not, not even worth commenting on <laughs> yeah right right the people that didn't even they don't even care they just look at it they scroll past it no thought if you would if you took the time to send me a message to tell me i'm disgusting like all right job well done here i did something right i mean like that was mean and i want to cry but at least at least so I, I got. I, 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 I stopped you. Where I what stopped you. Doing. I took your time <laughs> to send you. I got. To, uh, yeah, I, I had an impact. It was. I, I made a difference for a minute. Maybe it wasn't huge, but for a minute. So. Yeah. No, and, and I mean, and that's that's a great way of, of putting it. It's right. It's worth you know to be hated on than to just like. Just be boring. I don't want to be boring, dude. That's the last thing. I, I'll be anything before I can be boring. Oh man, I'm trying. Mm-hmm. No, and I, I mean, it, it shows in your images. Trust me, every time I see it, Thank I'm you. like, it's, it's really like strong work. And I'm just like, you know, it's out there. Everything, it's, <laughs> it's, out, it's, out it's there. bold. Oh. It's bold. <laughs> I'm trying, man. It's just, I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm doing. It's People awesome. like it or they so, don't. Real quick, um, yeah. you mentioned that you went uh, full-time this year. Into yes, photography. sir. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Super excited about it. And um, so how, what was your defining, I don't know, thing, metric or whatever for you to just like. Pretty simple. Uh, it's not like, I maybe didn't, there's probably people that would tell you I pulled the trigger on it too soon. Um, but uh, <laughs> all right. So basically what happened is I moved, I used to live down in Bradley beach. Right. Okay. Um, and I moved last year, about halfway through the year, I moved back into my parents' house, right? I was living on my own, and then I moved back to my parents. And, and I had a job at the time. I had a full-time job, and I was doing my photography, like, nights and weekends. So I'm, like, I'm working. I'm just working nonstop, busting my ass. I'm just trying to make it work. And, um, and I'm getting, you know, I'm in business for a couple of years. You know, I've been in business for a few years, so I've been earning money and doing the thing for a while. It's not like it's new. Yeah. Um, you know, the amount I'm able to charge, like the rate I can, I can justify charging people is, you know, it's a decent amount of money. Like it's good. Like I can, I can work with it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's enough that if I have the work regular, I'll be comfortable. So I moved back to my parents and my initial plan, I also moved out of my, or so my lease ended on my house and my lease ended at my studio where I was renting my, my photography studio. So everything ended. And I, so I just basically pulled up roots from the Jersey shore. And I moved back up here to Old Bridge in central Jersey. Um, And I was like, um, I was trying to decide what I was going to do. And my my plan at first was that I was going to just, I was like, okay, let me sit at my parents for two months, three months. I'll put, you know, I'm not going to pay rent. I'm going to save a little bit of money and I'm going to go get a place. I'll just move back out. No big, like no big deal. And um, then... I had this, I was listening to some, I was listening to some speaker or something like one of these guys that does talks. Um, and he basically said, you can't worry what people think of you 
you can't live your life worried about other people's opinions. And I was like, I was like, okay, my parents are cool people. They don't hassle me. You know, they're, I'm 30. Um, they're okay. They let me live here. I'm living here now. Um, I was like, if I don't work a full-time job, I'm like, and what I, what my initial plan was that I was going to, I saved money, right? My initial plan was to work part-time and at my current, at the, at my job at the time, I was going to go part-time and I was going to become a full, you know, and I was going to use the other, like, you know, four or five days a week to do my photography. And my job said it was okay. And I was like, okay, cool. And so that was my plan. I said, I'm not going to, I'm going to sit tight at my parents. I'm going to have less, I'm not going to pay eleven, twelve hundred dollars a month in rent. I'm going to take a pay cut and I'm going to put my energy into my photography. I want to build it. I don't know. I don't have anything else that I want to do with my life. So I might as well just go full force. So what actually ended up happening is right after the holidays ended, um, mm -hmm. my, my boss at the job like was basically like, yeah, uh, we don't really have any work for you anymore. And so I was like, I was like, Oh, <laughs> it's like I'm unemployed. How lovely. Um, so the new year rolled around and I was like, that's it, man. I'm just, I mean, it was, it was a, you know, I'm making it sound, I'm making light of it, but it was a tough time for me. I was very nervous. I was in, like a ton of anxiety, like a lot of self doubt. Um, cause I don't know how it goes for you, but for me in January, there ain't no photos to be taken. Like nobody's got any money for photography in January. So I did no work. So January I did nothing. I just laid around and hated myself and hated my life and was unhappy. <laughs> And, uh, it wasn't a good month for me. Um, but like that, like that was it, man. Like I had made the decision, the trigger was pulled. Um, and uh, the work, you know, there's some work. I'm not, I'm not like living high on the hog, but this is basically the decision was that I was going to be in position to, um, you know, to sit home. Right. And like, I didn't have, you know, I still have bills to pay. I still have a car. I still have a cell phone. I, you know, I have credit cards. Like I still have still need to make money, you know, go places. Um, but it's, it's, it's less and it's manageable. And like, if I need to do side work, I can do side work. And if I, you know, make enough on any given month doing my photography, then it's cool and I'm good. And like, you know, like, so that's the thing. And like, I, I basically just, uh, like I started to pull the trigger to do it a little bit slowly. And, uh, then the powers that be in the universe decided we're going to do it immediately. Do it. Yeah. And so we're now we're doing it and we're, you know, so like this is my first year, like full, like, you know, I mean, I, it's hard to say like full time because it's not there's sometimes there'll be like, yeah. like a full week where I don't have a gig to do. And it's like, uh, oh, this is really people are like, oh, you do it full time. I'm like, I mean, I do it sometimes. Yes, it is. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, well, that's I, I managed to get I'll, I'll basically just through referrals. I'll, I'll get a handful of jobs every month. You know what I mean? Maybe like three, four five jobs. And um you know, it's like, I'm, I'm staying afloat, right? Like I'm, that's basically where I'm at. I'm not like, it's not through the roof. I'm not like skyrocketing. I'm not having like, you know, I'm not making a ton of money. Like yeah. I'm getting by. I'm just, I'm just getting by. And, um, and that's all right, man. That's where I'm at for now. You know? And if I, uh, um, like basically just wanted to have all this time. So I have some other sh things that I need to do. Like I'm teaching myself how to do video production. Right, like so, that's a process. Good on um, yeah, yeah, I'm trying, man. It's a ton of work, you know, it's a ton of work. So I got to do more. I want to do more of that, you know. Start offering that service eventually, and um, you know, I got some plans for the business and like how I'm gonna, you know, figure out a couple new ways to bring in customers and not only, you know, I don't only want to rely on referrals um, because it's just not enough, you know. Like yeah. in three, like in like three years of like doing paid photography, you know, for whatever, three and a half, four years, whatever it is, I don't know the numbers. In the couple of years of doing paid photography, like I'm only getting uh, like, you know, like between three and five referrals a month. So not, I mean, it's There's good. No way to scale that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I can't just be like, maybe it gets better. Like there's, that's not a strategy. That's not a business plan. Yeah. That's just, <laughs> like, it's enough to say, okay, people, people want to pay for the work. People like it enough to pay on a regular basis. So I'm doing something right but I definitely need to get it in front of more people. So that's yeah. some stuff that I, I have to figure out and try to get information how other people are doing it. You know, something. But yeah, no, no, that's awesome. And, and actually that's kind of what I, not what I wanted to hear, but good to hear. It's because a lot, a lot of times like it's, it's difficult to, 
I guess, to go full in because of the uncertainties. You know, yeah. that's what it is. The uncertainties. Right? It's, it's You're not sure. You don't know. Still but not uncertainty. I feel like that's the only way for you to actually like get your mindset into it and figure it out. I got a choice you know? now. Yeah, exactly. You don't have a choice. And that kind of that technically happened to me I guess I would say last year. Um around the same time. Like Okay. You know, I so I, I met up with my business partner on a trip to Puerto Rico. Okay. And before that, you know, I just I hit him up, I sent him a DM. I'm like, yo, I, I love the work that you're doing and everything else and the movement and that really seemed like a cool dude. We should meet up. I do photo, I do video, da da da. And he messaged me back. He's like, Do you want to come to Puerto Rico for in two days? And I was like, All right. So at the time I had a full time job as a graphic designer. I was working okay. at a party company in, in Jersey. And I basically told him, I was like, look, I'm going to Puerto Rico and probably be there for like a week. And I don't know, you know, I'll be back. And if you guys are okay with it, then cool. <laughs> you guys are okay with it? Cool. Yeah. They, were, they weren't that okay with it. And I was just <laughs> yeah. like, all right, well. Yeah, sometimes they're not out yet. Jobs, yeah. uh, they, don't, they don't love it when you disappear. No, and, but, you know, but it was something that like, I knew if I didn't do it, I wouldn't ever do it you know yeah so yeah and then i I mean and i wasn't really like super happy at the job because it was like super simple stuff and like sure i wasn't like i wanted to give more to them but they didn't want more so it was at least you were doing something great dude i hated my job are you kidding me i was driving (laughs) trucks misery misery i hated it yeah that i (laughs) so i was so happy when i mean at first i was like anxious and like nervous but like then as like the photography started coming in it's like like yes you know i mean like now it's may like i'm a few months in i'm like being my own boss all that stuff and i'm like all right my my old boss is funny he texted he just between me and you and all the listeners he texted me this morning and he's like oh do you want to work today and i was like no no <laughs> no i don't Thank you. He, well he, no, that's the thing no i mean because i know I, I i didn't leave on like bad terms or yeah. anything. You know, I, like they just stopped they basically just stopped giving me work and um you know, so like every now and then they'll shoot me a message. I, I, I haven't done it. Like they must have, like it's like once or twice a month. They'll shoot me a message and ask me to go work a shift. And I'm, I'm always like, nah, dude, I don't, I don't even want no. money. I don't We're want done. to do it. We're done. I'm not going back. I'm not going back there, man. We, we did this. I was there for like three years. Like I'm good. I'm good. Leave me alone. For sure. Yeah, no, no. And I mean, I th- that's, the, that's the, the beauty of it is really, I mean, I don't, like I know there's, there's the anxieties of like, being your own boss and like working like and having to figure out where the clients are coming from but there's also that peace of mind that what you're doing motivates you yeah you know what i mean it like brings the best out of you because you can you, you, you can get yeah you can you can get paid you can get paid a lot of money at, at any job but if you hate the job and it's not like bringing out the best of you it's like i'm good yeah it's like deteriorating it's like you dry out you know what i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, i do i do so no, I was driving, I was making okay money doing truck driving, but like I, and I, I did it from the time I was 19. So it, it was like 11 years of me driving trucks. Like we put it to bed now, but like, it's a long time. And I didn't, I never, I never liked it. It's just, it's, yeah. oof, it's never satisfying, you know, now yeah. <laughs> never like, yeah, man, like, I guess if you love trucks, cool. But like, I'm not that guy. Yeah. Same. Not that guy. Not that guy. <laughs> I need to make stuff. I don't know. I'm not that's all. No, no, but that's, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I definitely know the struggles you're going through now, but they're also like fun struggles and yeah, it's, like, it's like the adventure. <laughs> it could always get worse. Yeah. Don't kid yourself. I mean, this might it, all can, it could get worse, but <laughs> it's come crashing down at any time. I'm well aware of that. Oh my God. That's, the, that's why I have the anxiety. Cause it can get worse yeah. always. Yeah. Uh, but, but, not, but it won't be that. I mean, well, well, but, you know, that's the thing dude. i mean like i took a risk okay sure but like i mean I'm, I'm living in my parents right like how how bad is it really gonna like i'm not gonna starve to death you know what i mean yeah. like i still have somewhere to go i still have food like it's i'm just trying to build something and like it's a risk because obviously i'm trying you know like i don't have you know like i don't have a ton of money coming in anymore. yeah it's on it's on you it's all on you we're tight and yeah it's like that so we're trying we're trying though we're, we're doing it that's good yeah, but I mean, I think you your your work speaks for itself. So thank you, thank you, you definitely. Thank you. Not only welcome, and I say it like truthfully because I, I when I see work that I appreciate it, like 
you know, it makes me feel good. Like I see it, I'm just like, <sighs> like That's all I want in the world is people to connect with the art, man. I just want people to look at it and feel something. Yeah. Just feel something. I don't care what it is. I, I care if it's, it if it's love or hate, but <laughs> I would prefer it to be love. Really. If we're just going to be honest with each other here. I, I don't care what it is. No, I totally care. I mean, like I'll take hate if that's all I can get, but like would yeah. prefer that you like it. For sure. For sure. Definitely. Yeah, so it. real quick. Um, so then what tips or what would be your best tip trick for anyone getting into, you know, photography or any type of creativity? Like what is that one thing that you've learned through your journey that if you could teach somebody else, what would that one thing be? Um, Take, make a ton of photos all the time. Just do it. That you will learn so much more in the act of creation and the act of doing it than you will from thinking about it, talking about it, anything. Education is important. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I support education. You should learn. But I've come across a number of people who will, will they'll just talk to me about their photography and it's like, okay, we talked to that. Like we talked about it. Go make photos now. Like what do, we've had enough theory. So my advice is like, just shoot, go shoot a ton, go take photos all the time in different places, different people, different places, different conditions, because I can tell you, I can teach someone everything I know if I need to, and it doesn't matter because if you just go take, like I could spend an hour and a half talking to someone about how to take a photo in front of a window. But if you just go grab your damn camera and go take photos in front of a window, you're going to yeah. fix like, you're going to learn it. Yeah. You're doing it. Go do it. See, you know what I mean? Play with the settings, like see how it affects you. Like take the stuff that you hear that you talk about and go do, you have to do it. That's my advice. Do like sure. nice, do it. Just do it. Man, that's hilarious. I got, I got to, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, that's one of the best things that, you know, I've heard and that I've, that's also helped me a lot, but it's funny cause you, you sounded like one of my good friends, um, uh, EJ, he was also on my podcast, but he always just says that. So he's just like, just do it. Like, just do it. Do, just do just, it already. Uh, <laughs> do it. I have, whole, I got to like, The whole Shia LeBeau, just. Do it. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. You, uh, he's like a nut. Like, I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm telling you, I got, I have this. There's this. I have a friend. He's like a photographer. He's like a newer photographer. He'll like message me, and he'd be like, "I have this idea. I'm thinking about this. Like, how do you think I could pull it off?" And I'll be like, "I think you should try this, this, or this." You know, I'll throw. I'll give him something. You know, he asked me a question. Mm -hmm. I'm answering the question, and then, and then, like, you know, 30 minutes into the conversation, it's like, "All right, dude. Like, I don't know how much you want to talk about it. Like, go take a yeah. photo already." We're like enough. We got it. Like we covered it in the minute or two. Go take a photo wow. now. Go. Like, oh, what's what's gonna happen? Like, where should I put the light? How do I set the light up? Like, like I don't know, man. We'll figure it out go once you're there. Once go you're do there. it. <laughs> try something. See where it, put the light. You, how is how's it gonna look on the left? I don't know, man. Put it on the left and take a photo, and then you're gonna know. You don't like it? Move it to the right. You can, go. Yeah. <sighs> For sure. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, that's the thing, man. I, I uploaded, I uploaded my archive to my, um, to my backup the other day, right. To my, my cloud backup. Mm -hmm. Uh, not the other day, right. It took half the month the other day. I, um, um, I, I know that. Well, cause it was, so I, it was, it's pretty much all the photos I've ever taken. My archive is, I don't delete anything from the archive. I have it all pretty much. I mean, there's some stuff from the beginning before I had good file management. You know, oh, yeah, for like maybe the first couple months, like where I had to figure it out yet that I maybe is gone, but I, it's pretty much everything. And it's, it's 90,000 photos, right? Like, so in, in four years, I've clicked the shutter button on a camera 90,000 times. Like you have, you, you go make photos. That's all I can say. I make, I make a ton, a ton. If I, I can go bring up my library right now. It's May. I've already, I've already done 20,000 photos this year right. That I've created that are, that I can, that are like edited, ready to go done. Like I, that I, that's it. Like uh, I'm, I'm, I don't stop. I'm always doing it. I'm always creating because like when you create, right. Like inspiration comes in the process. Yep. Like I'll, I'll start in one spot 
and the final photo is somewhere totally different that I never even thought of because like I just fucking start. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I don't know if it was a curse. Okay. Um, <laughs> it had to come out eventually. <laughs> Dude, I got this whole show. I don't even think I dropped a single F bomb. I'm so proud of myself. Um, like I'll start, I'll start with an idea and then the photo sometimes, you know, sometimes I start with an idea and I refine it and I make the photo I started with. And sometimes though I start with one idea and I end up with something totally left field because I'm in the middle, we're trying things, we're experimenting. I got a photo that I like, let's try this angle, let's try this. Like you have to just do it. And the more you do it, the more you're going to know about it and the better you're going to be at it, the easier it gets to do the technical stuff. You know, like you learn your technique, you get your technique down. Right, like if I if I let me thinking that like I said, dude, ninety thousand photos. It's a pretty good amount of photos. Like to take ninety thousand. If I took ninety thousand photos and I didn't know how to operate my camera, like I, yeah. that's a problem. It's really a problem. New profession. <laughs> right, right. Go back to the trucks because I'm doing something wrong here. You know what I mean? Like so, you want to get better. You want to be better. You want to learn. You want to do. Go make ninety thousand photos. See where you're at. You're gonna have a. You're gonna know what you like. You're gonna know what you want to take pictures of. You know, because you you will have done it. So, you know what I mean? That's me. I go, um, you know, I put my, I just do it all the time, right? Like if there's a new opportunity, some new situation, new place, new, like if I meet new friends, I'm like, why don't you come do a portrait? Come sit with me and I'll do a portrait for you. You know, I'm not, not even trying to sell them. Just trying to say like, come to my home studio and I'll do a I portrait. I just want to shoot. And create. I'm shoot. I'm going to, like, I want to shoot. I want to bond. I'm going to like, I'll try a new light. You know, I have plenty of friends that are like, you know, like local models and stuff who are willing to do trade work. And it's like, you know, like, come on, let's try some things. I got some ideas. I want to experiment. I'm, I'm still, I'm still super excited about photos. So I just keep making tons of photos all the time. That's awesome. That is hundred percent agree. For sure. Yeah. You just got to do it. You got you to gotta do it. Do it. What do you, how do you be a photographer? I don't know. Make photos. What? Like do it all the time. That's what like, a guy told me, man. If you can't, if you're not ready to like eat, sleep and breathe, photography or anything really i mean like whatever you love if it's guitar let it be guitar i don't know just go do it all the time yeah you have to you have, it's, it's just even when you try to stop it still you're just like you're brushing your oh, teeth. I can't. oh, oh I can't. man this yeah. angle the lighting and you just like, <laughs> i can't i don't know i don't know about you man but i can't i can't stop i can't even if there's no i tell <laughs> i had no one to photograph at points in, like in january right like i said i was like real mm -hmm. fresh like so there'd be times it'd be like two in the morning on a thursday and like I'm just un, I'm like awake and anxious and I'm like, I gotta make a photo and like, there's nobody around. So I just, I'm like, I, I'm still going to do it. So like, I'll, it's me in the room or something, or I'll go downstairs, you know, whatever it is. But like, uh, it's the doing, the act, just the, the act of the yeah, yeah. No, no, the, the other day I was, uh, I had some free time and I was just like, Oh, just let me make a quick video. I literally ran around my apartment just like, <laughs> did it right. And then you put it together and I'm like, sweet. All right, I got it. Done. My creative, yeah. my creative. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. Child we're is happy. <laughs> you got, dude. I that's it, right? Like that. You have to do it. I don't have a choice. It's not, it's not a choice. Like so, maybe I should get. Maybe I should think of better advice for people because it's like I don't know. I can't. I can't not. You know what I mean? There was no way. Like all ninety, like the ninety thousand photo thing that I'm rambling about. Like I didn't force myself to make those. I I didn't have a choice. Genuinely, like I, I had to, I had to. Some of them were forced because you know whatever it happens, but work. <laughs> for them, yeah, right. You're trying to get paid out here. Not everything is exciting. I'm trying to run a business. For real, so. that's awesome. <laughs> all right, bro. I mean, it's been amazing. Thank you. Conversation, and I, you know what, I I knew from the beginning it was going to be good because there's. So far, everybody have interviewed from New Jersey. It's fun. Yeah, we're loud. We're, we're, loud. we're just, yeah, we're just exactly. Right. <laughs> we just have too much personality to, to hold back. And <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. We got a lot, bro. We do. Now, people, I don't know, all your friends in Texas are going to see this and be like, what's wrong with you guys? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're calm out here. You, you already know. Weird. They're not, they're Weird. not as, as rowdy. I'm going to pick up uh, the pace. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's different. But. What can we do? Accept them, appreciate them. <laughs> I love them for who they are. I love That's them good. from far away because I'm staying. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going over there. Brother, so where, where's the best place that people can keep up with your work and keep in contact yeah. with you and all that? You can, uh, you can locate me on the Instagram at evolution.images. 
You can see my website at uh, evolutionmediacompany.com. You can find me on Facebook at Evan Criscolo, and that's E-V-A-N-C-R-I-S-C-U-O-L-O. And, uh, and if you want, because uh, we're doing podcast stuff, I'm going to take, once you publish, I'd like to also stick it on my podcast, so you can check yeah. me out at, at the Human Element Podcast. Um, although if you're listening to this on Manny's end, you probably, you probably already heard it and you don't want to hear it again. You know, <laughs> Imagine, yeah, like, you people take out all the other episodes. Yeah, there's a few, I got a few over there. It's not really photography related or anything like that. So, I mean, you know, people are into it, they can check it out. Cool. If not, no big deal. But the photos and all that stuff is as stated where to be, where it is. Where to be, yeah. But yeah, that's fine. I mean that, I think they'll still check it out because they're connecting with you. Yeah, man. Listen, if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. What are you going to do? Definitely. Well, so again, I appreciate it every Thanks minute. No, I, it's, yeah, if at any moment I can make it onto your podcast, I don't, I don't know if I'll be any good I haven't, haven't, content. I'd love to have you on. I haven't recorded. <laughs> so me and my, me and my buddy co-host it. And, uh, you know, we've been, uh, it's been tough to get it rolling lately. So once I can get back on a regular schedule with it, um, that's why I'm sort of happy that you said I could use the audio because I don't have any. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but um, so that'll be good. Yeah, I haven't. We've really been slacking on it lately. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's just busy with other things going on. I have a whole there's whole other sections of my life that I'm involved with. Oh yeah, to talk about. Those. We're 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 never we're we're never in one place. We're never a thousand everywhere. Thousand um, <laughs> yeah, listen, if I ever get if I ever get it if I can manage to get it up and running again on a regular schedule, I would love to have you on. Yeah, for sure. Let me know. Um, you know where to find me. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Thank awesome. you again, my friend. No, no, thank you. And then finish it off with my corny little quote, but I love it. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> you know, thank everybody for listening. And just remember that each and every one of you are super creators. You just have to find out what is your superpower. So until next time, catch you guys later. This time until next time. Peace. Peace.